please welcome the director of DARPA, Dr. Stephen Walker. It's great to see you all back this morning. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed uh, yesterday and uh, sat through it all and learned a lot. So um, I thank you to all the speakers. I just want to really, uh, uh, you know, a lot of DARPA folks have put a lot of time and effort into this. I just want to thank two of my leadership uh, real quick, John Everett and Valerie Browning, who uh, really uh, sort of organized this whole thing for us. So thank you, both of you. Now it's really my pleasure to introduce uh, Mr. Michael Kratzios, uh, who uh, has been leading the efforts in the White House on artificial intelligence. Michael is currently the Deputy U.S. Chief Technology Officer and Deputy Assistant to the President at the White House Office of Science and Tech Policy. And in his role, he really um, serves as one of the President's top technology advisors. And I know from personal experience, Michael has been the driving force in the White House on artificial intelligence, getting it recognized as a, as a tech race we must win in the 21st century, uh, and, and helping to enable that executive order uh, that was just signed here a few weeks ago. So without further ado, I would want Malca, welcome Michael Kratzios to the stage. Thank you, Michael. Thank you to DARPA. Um, you know, not, not just to your, your commitment to exploring the potential of, of AI, but, but for all you do to get ahead of the, uh, of the technological trends and then use those discoveries um, to benefit the, um, the American people. Um, now, as this colloquium of, of some of the most influential thinkers uh, in AI begins its, its second day, I believe it's good to recognize just how important all the work that, uh, that you all do is. Uh, DARPA has a long history of making early investments into fundamental research that um, have produced amazing benefits for the world and for the American people. DARPA's ARPANET of the 1960s became the internet. Um, DARPA's research into unmanned vehicles in the 1980s led to, led to drones, and, and DARPA's personal assistant that learns, or PAL of the 2000s, made um, Siri possible. DARPA is, is now building on this long history of success in the world of artificial intelligence. Um, it already has committed to investing $2 billion in AI research over the next five years as part of the AI Next campaign. Um, and thanks in part to this investment, and especially to the work of everyone in this room, the future of artificial intelligence shows incredible promise. So to every scientist, engineer, technologist uh, with us today in industry and in academia or, or in government, I want you to know that this administration supports DARPA's commitment and shares its intense interest in developing and applying artificial intelligence. For the first time ever, the administration's most important strategic documents, including the National Security Strategy, the 2020 R&D Budget Priorities Memo, are all incorporating artificial intelligence into federal plans. We formed the Select Committee on Artificial Intelligence that uh, Stephen's a co-chair of to coordinate the wide range of federal R&D efforts. At the same time, the administration is working to protect American workers affected by AI and automation through the National Council for the American Worker. Now, underscoring the depth of this commitment, the President of the United States signed an executive order last month to launch the American AI Initiative. This order calls for a national strategy to ensure AI remains fueled by American ingenuity, reflects American values, and is applied for the benefit of the American people. Under the American AI Initiative, the federal government will prioritize AI R&D, will improve public access to federal AI data, and allocate high performance and cloud computing resources to AI-related applications and research. Agencies are also will be working together with education institutions to develop AI-related education workforce opportunities. They will also explore regulatory and non-regulatory approaches to govern AI in ways that promote innovation while respecting privacy. To advance AI development and deployment, the National Institute for Science and Technology, Standards and Technology will begin work with the Administration's Select Committee on AI to prioritize the creation of technical standards. Finally, the order also calls for a strong action plan to protect our AI advantage from adversarial nations. 
in every single one of these actions is governed by a fundamental principle that I know has guided and will continue to guide everyone in this room today, that AI should never be used at the expense of our civil liber liberties or our freedoms. As members of our innovation ecosystem of industry, academia, and government, each of you has a very important role to play to help us achieve a technological breakthroughs that will keep us on the cutting edge of AI innovation. While you're all here, I encourage you to meet colleagues, forge relationships, exchange ideas, and explore concepts that will lead to the next big breakthroughs. If you do that, you will not only advance the field of AI, but you will lift our nation and our fellow citizens to greater heights than ever before. So thank you so much, and good luck on day two. Thank you.